Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, and I am here to talk about the power-ups that we can now find in Best Fiends, or at least one power-up. I've got an unlimited supply currently of the Triple Blast. They want me to see how it works. And so if we click on this, we can get some information. The tri Triple Blast sets off multiple explosions. So you can see in this example, you pull it down and then it sends off firecrackers throughout the board. So let's see what that looks like in action here. I'm not actually going to play the level because what I have found is that this doesn't become part of the candy, I say candy mix, that's from playing Candy Crush for so long, uh, of the element mix because we just get one in the very beginning. And it's kind of poorly placed because this isn't a really good board here. It's cordoned off. I'm going to actually try to open this up just a bit, see if I can. I might not have the opportunity. I may run out of permissible moves here before I can open this. There we go. So now this has opened up quite a bit. I still can't bring this anywhere except where it's sitting. It's residing in this isolated spot here. So I'm trying my best to get this cleared. It's not cooperating. It's funny when your goal isn't to win. It's just to take care of a particular thing that's happening and the board does not allow you to. Okay, I'm going to set this up even better. I'm going to bring... Oh, no, I'm not setting it up. I need to bring the, the blue into alignment, not the purple. Of course, now I need to bring the purple into alignment, not the blue. And then I'm going to make this move and it's going to do other wacky, crazy things. <sighs> not having much success with that, am I? It, huh. It's like when you say, oh, watch what my animal can do and then the animal doesn't do what you expect. Okay, so now I get to position this in kind of a bigger area. Let's do it right here and see what impact it's going to have against these light bulbs here. We'll see how far these travel. Yeah, it wasn't spectacular. We get one and it's not very spectacular and certainly if we get them we kind of have to use them where the, they are if the board isn't cooperating because as you can see it took me so many moves just to try to get the board to cooperate. I just wanted to show you how that element worked and I couldn't really set it up the way I wanted. So I think that on a level where we don't have everything segmented and cordoned off it might have a great deal more impact. But I'm still one of those people who is going to try to play this game without power-ups because I don't currently know of any way to get those power-ups for free other than when they first introduce them to us. And I don't play to, uh, I don't pay to play these games. So that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. If I don't have the answers, maybe other folks who have used this more will be able to assist. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.